Today we are going to make this other stuff. It is called Dragon Dogs Reagent and it can be used to test for alkaloids. Of course we are going to need a few chemicals for this. We are going to use 0.17 grams of bismuth oxynitrate, 22 milliliters of glacial acetic acid, 4 grams of potassium iodide and some distilled water. Of course we also need a substance to test this reagent with. We are going to use the terrestrial ammonium seeds. The seeds from this plant are incredibly toxic and this plant is also known as the devil's weed. We decided to start off by weighing out the 0.17 grams of bismuth oxynitrate. The next goal is to dissolve the bismuth oxynitrate in a solution of glacial acetic acid. I added 2 ml of glacial acetic acid, but because it didn't dissolve, I added about 15 ml of water. It also didn't dissolve in the water glacial acetic acid mixture, but this doesn't matter. In order to avoid contamination of the potassium iodide, I didn't weigh it out using a spatula, but I transferred it onto the paper directly. We used 4 grams of potassium iodide. It would also be possible to clean the spatula before using it, but as you can see I'm even using paper trays and there's a reason for that. The potassium iodide was added to a measuring cylinder and afterwards some distilled water was dumped in. When both of the solutions are combined, you get this beautiful orange color. We continued by adding 20 more milliliters of glacial acetic acid, followed by enough water to fill up the measuring cylinder to the 100 milliliter mark. As you can see I'm not wearing gloves while doing this experiment and if you repeat this you definitely should wear some. I however made sure not to spill any of this onto my hands and as you can see I'm still alive. The reagent was carefully transferred to a properly labeled storage bottle. Time for the fun part. Some crushed up the Tura seeds were added to the speaker followed by about 10 milliliters of distilled water. To make all the contents sweat, it was swirled around a few times and afterwards allowed to stand like this for 5 minutes. Before proceeding, we need to get all of the small chunks of crushed up the Tura seeds out of the solution. Therefore, a syringe filled with some cotton was used to get rid of the contaminants. I added to the solution to some more distilled water, however this isn't necessary and the reagent could be dumped indirectly. After adding the reagent, the beaker was swirled around, left to stand for 10 minutes and then we observed it again. I ended up adding a little more of the reagent off camera to make the solution look more orange. After the 10 minutes, the solution looked like this. As you can see, a precipitate formed. There are small specks in the solution and this confirms that the test was positive and that we indeed dealt with an alkaloid. The tura contains scopolamine as well as atropine, which you can see here. Atropine has this tertiary amine right here and this is what the test actually detects. At first an ammonium salt between the tertiary amine and the acid is formed which then reacts with the potassium tetraiodobismuthate to form an insoluble complex. To show you that the reagent doesn't react with anything I'm going to show you the same but with some mint which contains melanfor but no alkaloid. I didn't even filter it but after 5 minutes the solution was still clear indicating that there is no alkaloid present. If you liked today's video make sure to drop me a like, if you don't want to miss out on further chemistry content like that make sure to subscribe and as always I have to thank my Patreons because you guys make it possible for me to share even more awesome stuff with you. If you want to become a Patreon too, check the link in the description. I wish all of you a great day, until next time.